Yeah. Prove yourself. One four three seven's one step ahead. Yeah, they're here with the disruption. Call down comes through again on a car Qatar. The, the snowball coming through from the tusk, but it's only gonna hit on a Ujin. There is the Warlock go coming through on a TNC's Raven, but Kataru still gonna go down, and that's really all they need. They draw out the old from the Warlock, they kill off the Bloodseeker, but now Papita is here with the double damage as well as this Dream Core coming out on two. Cuckoo hits the deck, and now on the other side, TNC, they're looking to get themselves the kill onto this tusk. He gets the snowball off for now, goes over to the creep, but this is not gonna be let go by TNC. Raven gets the kill, and then they'll lose Tim. So right now, one. Team 1437 maybe not looking to commit just yet. They might want to look to get the Shadow Demon first. They'll disrupt up this block, but still going in is Schofield. He's got the Ice Shard to block out 1437. Tim's coming around the corner with Raven on the side. They'll look for the kill. They'll get the Shadow Demon in. Let's see, can Tim's even turn this around with 3 heroes here on the bottom? For Infamous, they get the Burl Strike. They're looking to get this puck really low for right now, but able to get that Illusory Orb off, and Papita is gone, and they'll take out Raven. So that ends up going to their way, but now they end up losing Papita, and Sam H is here as well as Cuckoo, and they're trying to clean up. They look over at Schofield. There's the Burl Strike. They'll take out another. Ends up being a two for two. And With a lot of AoE damage that's against Infamous, you got Illusory Orb, Blood Rite, stuff like that is now 10. Ooh, they're trying to go up top on Kataru. They've got the Chaotic Offering falling on two of these heroes as well as the Rupture coming through. Tim's is just trying to run away as well as Raven, who's now silenced up. He's in a lot of trouble. Stuck there with the rupture. In comes Cuckoo, but the lose Raven already. Papita is here with a stun coming through from Tim's, but it looks like it's going to be another one down for this side of TNC, and they lose two more on a gank that they initiated. They look over at Papita for just a moment with the Rocket Barrage coming out, but now locked in with that Dream Core. They're going to get the silence coming through again from Kitaro, but he's actually on the low ground, not going to get hit just yet. But here comes the snowball and the kill for the side of Infamous. Warlock immediately canceled it with that chaotic offering, and then Darkseer and Sand King were just so vulnerable. Now mid lane. Yeah, mid lane, they're gonna try and go in a loser or to get Pepita out, but they will. Sand King's gonna start losing effectiveness as Cuckoo gets blocked out. And he's gonna get blocked out by the Ice Shard. Pepita thinking about coming over, the Rock Barrage is out, but the Snowball from Scopio as well as the Dream Core, they have blocked him in, but the fall down on Pepita getting very low. Scopio will get the kill with the Ice Shards and Raven. Going on this with the Tusk coming through, and immediately they try to turn it around. But you will get one more three seven with Crippling Fear coming out as well as the Void. They've got the Illusory Orb over the top, and Pepita gets the kill, cleaning up this over top. And Kitaru getting low with Raven over. He's just gonna survive for now, but can Raven get the kill? Finally, leaves of Kitaru, and now Walrus gonna ping him out as they want Raven to start to retreat. Schofield comes in, they've got Stinger nearby with the Burl Strike coming up from Tins as well as the Chaotic Offering right on top, but. This isn't really helping Infamous just yet. Trying to get Pepita out of here as well as get the kill on 1437 is Infamous, but Tim's on the back lines as well as Raven just trying to heal up for now and maybe reinitiate onto this fight. They've got Tim's nearby, Stinger vacuum. There's the Burl Strike into the wall. They'll get the kill. And now they've got Cuckoo here, so they're going to continue on forward. Infamous trying to run away, but the body blocks are really good from Tim's. They're going to be forced to use that snowball, and now they've got this homing missile coming through. Rocket Barrage hits. Cuckoo gets the kill, and it will be three for Tim. Looks pretty good for them, like they've gotten the space that they need and they're starting to put themselves back in. But there's the rupture onto the Shadow Demon over bottom. They don't exactly mind losing a Shadow Demon, but it looks like they're going to fight. There's the Burl Strike on a two with the Calldown coming out on three, but the Snowball's going to be there to save Masaku as well gets into the Snowball, so they avoid, avoid the call down. But this is still trouble with the Rock Barrage raining away damage on the side of Infamous. They'll take out Masaku, they'll take out Kitaru, and two go down. They're still looking for Scofield. More. There's the Burl Strike. It could be another one for TNC, and it will be double kill for Sam H. Save bought them a lot of time, but it also bought more time for the Shrine to regen the Shadow Demon. It's now top lane. Yeah, top lane. You've got Stinger and Pepita here to get the kill on the Tim. Just getting caught out. Of course, you've got that Shadow But they've got Raven nearby, so it's kind of a hard move. They want to go in onto this Shadow Demon, but they will. And Raven not looking like he's going to come over, and they'll just give up the Shadow Demon. But as I say that, Ice Shards come in. Finally finish him off. The Burl Strike hit. Ganger coming out from Raven, they look over at Schofield. Nobody really going in just yet. You finally got the Yules coming out on Sam H, as well as the Rupture, but the KB pop by Kotaro, as well as the Dream Coil coming out on Sam H, but there's a Chaotic Offering. They've already taken out Masoku. So now they look for more of the Rocket Rush coming out on Stinger. They've got themselves to with the vacuum and the wall coming through. They've got Schofield. That's going to be a third for TNC. Still, you know, he's not going to go for the Diffusal. He's now replaced that with Shadow. Wait, how do you feel about that on a, on a Phantom Lancer as oh, over yeah. the top? They actually get the Burrow Strike and the kill on the Schofield real quick. So another out onto Darkseer, and both teams just kind of dancing around at the moment. Raven especially manning those front lines, but the Barrel Strike comes out on Stinger. They've got the dust. They'll get the kill onto one. So now, Infamous, Blink, as well as the Barrel Strike. That hits. Kataro in a lot of trouble. They start to push back Masoku. 
Raven just doing so much damage at this point, able to run down this Warlock with no answer from the side of Infamous on the rest of this fight. You already see the kill. Raven gets it on him. So good. Burrow strike hits on a Kutar. Down on a Katara, they're still gonna continue to chase with Kikita. The Sans comes through onto the Sand King. They actually will go over at the Starks here. Not to just yet with Teams getting the Burrow strike and the kill. Katara goes down. Spiral out of control. It just doesn't seem like they have enough to fight TNC. And now with TNC with the Aegis as well as the smoke coming in. They're Dyer's looking to go out. down the throat oh, of miss and finish this game off. So they find themselves the Burrow strike that's gonna hit Pepita. He's gone. He's gone from 70. Pretty high as they all immediately jump on the puck, go through that Lincoln Sphere, and now he has to buy back. There's the buyback with the vacuum wall coming out onto this tough. They look for more scope. They're able to use that snowball to continue to get away. Teams in the in the side of this base, just using that sandstone to get away. The chaotic are clearing. It's going to be dropped, and now they will go right there to the side of TNC as they will lose that dark sphere. They're going to lose themselves on for these seven. Finally, Scofield goes down, but Raven is here yeah, as well. Center coming he's in. Got that BKB used. The epic center is going to be placed down onto this Bloodseeker. They'll get the kill on Katara. They look for more as the Night Stalker gets one, but they do take out Kuku. It ends up being a three for three, but they're looking for Masoku as the chase is on from Raven. They got the Dream Coil coming through, but I don't think that's enough. Finally stunned up will be Raven, but he still has that Aegis to work with. The Doppelganger forward still looking to get that Warlock and just gets away with the Glimmer Cape for now. And finally, the Aegis is popped. Look in the back line, steals his group from Kapita onto Tim's, and they will clean up another one. So four dead for the side of DNC. Evil does not stop the Phantom Rush, all these illusions. Oh, there's the back of all, as well as the Burl Strike on a three with the Snowball, really to avoid it. most of this damage as well as TNC coming in. The Snowball's gonna send three of these heroes, though, towards the side of TNC, and the BKB pop by Kuku. There's gonna be the Chaotic Offering on top of a couple of these heroes, but they've already lost scope through the Lotus Masoku, and now Beat it goes up. One, four, three, seven, gets dagging to death. Now they look over at Stinger. Raven doing too much damage. Three dead on the side of Infamous. None of them have buyback. They look over at Kataro. There's the Burl Strike. TNC continue to move on forward. It looks like they'll get a fourth, and they will. Nobody has buyback on the side of Infamous. The only one left alive is Pepita, but TNC, they're still ready to continue to go in despite losing Cuckoo. They've got Raven here. He's all that TNC really need to go in. Teams again with the Burrow Strike. Here comes Raven. Triple kill for Raven. Everybody dead on Infamous.